Hello and welcome. My name is Ellen with Ellen Estelle, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to sew Simplicity number 1254. It's a Lee Ann Marshall coat. So this coat is super cute because it has a big circle hood on it, and it's a pretty simple bodice. It has princess seams in the front and the back. It also has inset pockets in the front seams. So this fabric calls for medium weight to heavyweight fabrics such as brocade, damask, denim, melton, peak, poplin, sateen, stretch wovens, velvet, wool types, ponte, and sweatshirt fleece. It also calls for one large coat snap and a 28 inch separating zipper. I decided to sew view A, which is the longer coat length. This fabric is a faux fur purchased from Joann's. I absolutely loved it. So I bought three yards and when I went to go cut out the pattern, I was actually going to make a bomber jacket. But since I had more fabric than I needed, I didn't want to waste anything. While I had my fabric on the cutting table, I thought to myself and I said, I don't feel right cutting this out. So I stopped and I went and I looked through my patterns again and I found this pattern. So I love, love the um, style lines it has. It has these princess seams in the front and in the back. It creates a really nice contour and it worked really well for my print. Since my print is um, pretty small and repetitive, you, I mean, you can kind of see it, but you really don't, it's, it doesn't mess up the pattern too much. Um, it has pockets here on the front seam. I do have a zipper. Um, I purchased the zipper from Wawak. They had a, I believe it was a number five separating zipper in a 28 inch length. Um, they also had a number 10. That's what I bought first. And they only had a 26 or 30 inch length. So I bought one of each and I realized that the zipper teeth and the, the pole were really big and ugly. So I ended up reordering. So this coat had been on hold for probably two weeks by the time it took me to order the second round of zippers but it worked really well. I got the black one because this fur is an ivory and not a pure white. The white uh, zipper uh, zipper tape looked too drastic and it made the fur almost look unclean. So I went with the black. And then with the lining, I had leftover lining from um, when I made one of my jackets. It is from, uh, I think it's from Astoria Fashion Fabrics. It's a really pretty hot pink uh, polyester satin lining. But what I especially love about this is the hood. It's a really big circle hood. You can pull it up and over like this, but also it lays really nice and flat here in the back. I really, really like that about this pattern. Um, it has these back um, contouring seams as well. So in this pattern, I am going to pretty much follow it to a T. Um, I do line the inside and I fully enclosed the lining. So it's enclosed here in the sleeve. It's also enclosed in the bottom. Um, what I did not account for and what I would maybe be do differently is the zipper tape um, itself. When I sewed it, I was following along the pattern and they didn't sew the zipper teeth until the, or zipper tape until the end. And um, I would rather have maybe thought it through a little better and maybe this would have messed up the pattern, but I would have rather sewn the zipper tape into this seam with the lining so that it wasn't sticking out like this. I mean, if I had known that I was just going to sew the zipper teeth like this, I wouldn't have waited two weeks to finish it because I wouldn't have needed to because all it is, is it's just pretty much like sewn on top. Like, I don't want to say last minute. Um, it is, sewn only to this side of the fabric, but it's sewn through both sides of the fabric on this side. There's this stitching line here, which I don't necessarily like. Um, maybe if I did a wool, like the pattern envelope showed, I would like that a little better. It would have created a little more visual interest, but with faux fur, you kind of lose it and you're wondering, oh, I wonder what that is. So keep watching to learn more and follow along on how to sew Simplicity 1254. First, I start out by cutting out my pattern pieces out of my fashion fabric.
Then I cut out my lining. To start sewing, first pin your back to your side back lining pieces with right sides together. Sew at 5 eighths of an inch and finish the raw edges. Then pin your front and side front lining pieces with right sides together. Sew at 5 eighths of an inch and finish the raw edges. Press the seams towards the back. Then, pin your front and back side pieces together along the side and shoulder seams with right sides facing. Finish and press the seam allowances. Next, fold your sleeve in half with right sides together. Pin and sew the sleeve together at 5 eighths of an inch. Finish the raw edges and press. To help ease in your sleeve cap, sew a basting stitch or the longest stitch length possible between the circles indicated on your sleeve pattern. Then, pull the bottom thread and tighten the sleeve as you pin the sleeve into the armhole with right sides together. This should help ease the sleeve into the armhole. Repeat and sew for both armholes. Make sure there are no puckers when sewing. And finish your raw edges. Now repeat these steps for your fashion fabric. First, sew the back to the side back with right sides together. Pull out excess fur that is caught in the seam by gently using your seam ripper. For faux fur or other bulky fabrics, it's a good idea to trim the fur off the seam allowance. That way, it will lay more flat and be less bulky. Finishing the seam allowance with a serger will ensure that it is flat and no fur will shed. Now, before you sew your front and side front pieces, pin two of your pockets with right sides facing to your front and side front panels, matching up the markings. Sew it by base of an inch. Then flip your panels so they're right sides together and pin together, including around the edges of the pocket. In one stitching line, sew from the hem, around the outer edges of your pocket, and to the top of your seam at 5 eighths of an inch. Finish the raw edges like this. Then with right sides together, pin your front side and back side pieces together at the side and shoulder seam and sew at 5 eighths of an inch. Finish the raw edge. Now fold your sleeve in half and with right sides together, pin and sew at 5 eighths of an inch. Finish the raw edges like this. Then pin your sleeve into the armhole, sew and finish the raw edges. Pin and sew your left zipper tape to the outside of your coat. Follow the markings and sew into place. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure to iron your interfacing to one piece of your hood. Then, with the right sides together, pin your hood all around the curved edge. Sew and finish the raw edge. Next, sew from the circles to the outside, leaving the middle open. Finish the raw edges. Clip the corners and flip your hood right side out. Press up the corners nice and flat. Now pin your outer layer of the hood to the coat neckline following the markings. Sew at 5 eighths of an inch. Do not sew the second layer. Finish the raw edge. Then, with right sides together, pin your lining to the front edges along both sides and sew at 5 eighths of an inch. Finish the raw edges. Now pin and sew your lining to the hood that was not sewn down. Finish those raw edges. Then tack or sew both layers of your hood together. Now with right sides together, pin your sleeves to the sleeve hem of your fashion fabric. Sew and finish the raw edges. Then with right sides together, pin your lining and fashion fabric together along the hem. Sew at 5 eighths of an inch, but leave a small opening to pull your coat through. Finish the raw edges. Then clip the corners and flip your coat right side out. Finally, pin your right zipper teeth to the right side of your jacket on the inside along the lining. The edge of your fashion fabric will be folded under. Sew along the edge of the zipper teeth through both layers of the fashion fabric. And finally, tack your hemline closed. And now you're done! Simplicity S1254 is such a cute coat, it's sure to be a staple in your wardrobe. Until next time! Please like and subscribe.